You know, it, you, I say this, and I preach it even when we lost. Winning and losing, one in the same. You, you correct, you make your uh, corrections on Sunday, and guess what? You put it behind you. I don't care if you win, you lose, you put it behind you. Because if you don't, it'll come back to bite you on, on Saturday. So for us, it's continuing to get better. Yes, was did we know a, a win at home in the Missouri Valley? We needed to go get. We did it. Fought. We knew it was going to be a hard fought game for sixty plus minutes. Got to enjoy that Saturday night. Came in. Got to enjoy it for maybe ten minutes on a Sunday team meeting. But then guess what? You press reset and you get refocused on the areas we need to improve as a football team and get ready to play another Missouri Valley football conference game now on the road. Well, road focus, no matter who you're playing. Um, and Dana, I don't know if you're at the last two games we played Western, but trust me, it don't sit well. And those are games I can never give back to Youngstown State and the history of Youngstown State. And, you know, so do I dwell on it? No, but trust me, there's not a day goes by that you don't think of those times where you were winning a football game and, and you didn't finish. You know, so for us, it's about us. It's about taking the field today on a Tuesday and being a lot better defensively, offensively, and special teams than we were a week ago. And I feel coming off the field today, I'm excited to dive into film because I thought we got better as a football team today. Yeah, for us, it's always going to be we got limited explosives, you know, way too many explosives, uh, you know, coming off. So, you know, being able to stop the run, you know, that was a team that came in and, and ran the football on us. And, you know, we've done a great job all year, you know, even North Dakota State when they're going to rush the ball 57 to 60 times a game. You know, we tried to hold them to 3.2. I think they rushed for 4.950. But, you know, we gave up too much on the run, uh, too many explosives. So there's a lot of things that we got to dig down. You know, was it fundamentals? Was it a lack of focus? You know, but those are the things we went out today in today's practice. And, yeah, did I see a different intensity? Yeah, we always say yeah, what you do in practice. So even if you're not going live and you're tagging off, guess what? You better make sure your knees are bent, that you're, you know, breaking down near foot, near shoulder and doing the proper things fundamentally. So that was the focus, and that's always going to be a focus. Stop the run, limit the explosives, and we're going against another receiver that's leading the league in receptions this week, very good receiver. And, and you know, we got to make sure Naseem Brantley, you know, 6'4", 200 pounds, you know, he makes plays. So, you know, we're going to be challenged this week. You know, I don't even know if I focus on a winless team. We've been winless, and guess what? You know, we, we ended up beating ranked teams. Uh, you know, so for me, it's like they're just trying to establish, just like we were in the spring of my our first season. You know, you're trying to establish who are we defensively, offensively, but they're playing with great effort, and you see improvement. You watch second half of the Southern Illinois, I saw improvement. You know, so they're trying to figure things out, and we are. I mean, we're far from – yeah, we got enough of ourselves to figure out, you know, are we going to get ready for the schemes that we're going to see schematically, defensively, offensively? But there's certain things we got to make sure we make another jump this week in ourselves and make sure we're ready to execute come Saturday. Another, you know, another team playing two quarterbacks, just the similarities and differences between the two. You know, probably, you know, one, I mean, one can, you know, he, I saw a ball in the air for 65 yards. You know, the other one's probably a little more agile, kind of like North Dakota can make you miss, can, you know, throw the ball well. So, you know, then I even saw they played three, and, you know, one in the Minnesota game that can run the ball big guy. So, you know, for us, you know, again, you know, we've been in that situation, right? You guys say we're playing three quarterbacks, you know, trying to figure out who's the guy that can lead us. So regardless of who they're playing at quarterback, we got to make sure that we able to line up, play fast, play fundamentally sound, and play the Youngstown type of football that, that we, we are starting to grow accustomed to. The offensive line is, you know, running backs for you guys are 
Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, they're an experienced group now. You know, they had to go through the woes of throwing them out there before they were ready in the spring of that season. And last year, the growing pains. You know, and we saw it at the end of last year. We saw it in the spring. But I really thought, you know, Saturday was probably the most complete game I saw our offensive line. But they have a lot of starts under their belt now. They know how to communicate with each other, the footwork, the fundamentals, the pad level. Uh, is there a long way to go to keep improving? Yes, I think there is. But to see them grow as a unit, and it starts up front. You you want to win in this league, it, you better be solid, big, strong up front. It's an O-line, D-line driven league, and we got to be an O-line, D-line driven program. Yeah, you know, it's just, again, everyone, you know, one of 11. You know, we'll play with 11 guys. That's what makes football the greatest sport, that all 11 guys have to be able to execute. And, you know, when you can, you know, Mitch is back there and making good reads, making the correct reads, he challenges himself. They had a challenging day today. Those guys in that room, all four of them, challenge each other each day to go out on the practice field. It's kind of fun to watch. But, you know, when he makes the right reads and can deliver the ball where it should be, thrown you know knowing that 0 26 3 85 1 8 the tight ends you know again the tight ends are you know they block a lot for us but you know if the correct read takes it to the tight end or we feel confidence that our tight ends can catch it so to be able to do that you know i hope that makes it a little more difficult to just zero in on us and you know last year young know, teams could just go you know zero on us and blitz to to stop number 8 and, you know, right now there's other players out on that field that I, I don't think you could just focus on stopping number. They still got to stop number eight, but we have the ability at least to get the ball out to other players.